everyone, and today I'm making a late start to the Animal Kingdom park. Firstly though, look at this cool top I got from the Haunted Mansion. samosas from Mr. Kamal's and they came with a kind of mango chutney. Um, I don't really know if, how I feel about chutney so I'm probably going to leave it but um, see what these are going to be like I suppose. Oh god they're really hot. <laughs> Alright I'm going to try this. Hmm. Yeah they're good. Um, they're kind of interesting, like, they're not spicy or anything, but they're really, like, fulfilling. Um, I don't know, I think they're going to be really filling. Um, it comes with five of them, so that's pretty good. So I got a non-alcoholic strawberry margarita, and it is good. <laughs> Expedition Everest! Thank <laughs> you. 
The Q Lines Expedition Everest is actually really authentic and it just looks genuine. I got some ice cream and it's yummy! We're doing dinosaur again. Hello there! Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. And how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tools are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in. Use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters a homing signal, and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? <laughs> we're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon. Then, I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom! You're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me. What could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission. So don't tell anyone, okay?
boat to go back with. There's the right, there's like a ledge and there are loads of like hairbands on there and it was really weird. So after I got off the ride, I asked um, some of the people working in the shop why they were there and apparently it's a tradition, apparently it's a tradition amongst them um, cheerleaders to throw their hairballs onto the side of it. Which is really strange, but you learn something new every day I guess.